Can we interpret dreams? Hello, I'm Ken Yates from Grace Evangelical Society, and I have a few things to share with you on that topic. When we read the Bible, we see that in the past, God certainly communicated through dreams. Some of the famous stories we know in the Bible included dreams and certain people that God gave the ability to interpret those dreams. For example, in the Old Testament, a famous story is about Joseph in Egypt, who was able to interpret dreams that others had. We also have Joseph in the New Testament, who is given dreams by God when he finds out that Mary is pregnant and then also when Jesus is born. Also in the New Testament, we have the famous story of the Macedonian call where Paul sees a man in Macedonia calling him to come over to help him. And so we do see that God has again his people given them the ability to accurately interpret dreams and these dreams and their interpretations uh, came from God. But the question is, is that still going on today? Can people still interpret dreams or should they interpret dreams? If you, if you have a dream, should you see that as something, as a message from God? Of course, there are some people who say the answer to that question is yes. A few years ago, I was in Kenya, and I was in a theological library, and there was a book there that was written by someone in Kenya that described how to interpret dreams. And as you read through it, it said, you know, if you see a bird in your dream, it means this. If you see the color purple, it means this. If you see, if you see a house with smoke coming out of it, 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 it means this. Uh, there was just a number of things in this book that was the key to interpreting any dream that you had to have. Now, of course, a book of, let's say, 200 pages is not going to address every single thing that you may see in a dream. Uh, but obviously, it was very, very subjective. I mean, how do you determine what a, a bird means in a, in a dream, for example? Or how do you determine what a particular color is? What I would say is that in some of those dreams in the Old Testament, for example, when you look at someone like Joseph, he was a prophet, uh, and there aren't any prophets today getting new revelation. Joseph was getting new revelation from God. And the same thing with Paul, with his Macedonian call. And in the case of Joseph in the New Testament, obviously that is a very unique period of time before the New Testament was written, and it was during the birth of Christ, and the Lord was revealing new things as the Messiah was about to be born. When you hear people interpret dreams today, first of all, like I said, we don't have prophets, but how do we know uh, what these dreams mean, the interpretation that's given? In all the examples in the Bible, we have men that God reveals these things to. But when you see people interpreting dreams today. Again, it's just so subjective and it is so uh, arbitrary. Uh, God is not revealing that new information to them. I just heard recently of a man who claimed to have a dream and he interpreted it and it was so bizarre. He was on a bus and then he went up into the heavens and there was this wall there that he couldn't see and then near the wall, there was a Jesus with an Afro who spoke to him. The other thing I would point out about these dreams when you hear them today is that they, they give a false gospel. 
and the one with the man going up and seeing the wall and the bus, he gave the, uh, the gospel of eternal life as confessing your sins and repenting. There's a much easier answer to all of this. Instead of relying upon subjective dreams, and by the way, unbelievers have dreams, uh, people in other religions have dreams. The Bible says in Hebrews 1 that God has given us his final word in his son. We have all the revelation we need. There's not any more. We don't need any more. And so when we have a dream, we don't have to wonder, well, what did the bus mean? Or what does the wall mean? Or what does the bird mean? Or what does the color red mean? Everything you need is found in the word of God. And you shouldn't look to dreams to find any new revelation from him. If you liked what you've heard, I'd ask that you'd press the like button and then press the subscribe button. And remember, keep grace in focus.